Howdy ho everybody, welcome back to the Rock's Roost. Let's play some more Final Fantasy III, the Pixel Remaster. When last we left off, we were about to go into Castle Sassoon, so let's do it. Now in here, there's all kinds of treasures. If you uh, push the right button, you go to switch maps. Castle Sassoon, there are 13 chests and one hidden or granted item in here. The Jin's curse turned everyone in the castle into ghosts. I was only spared because I was out on a mission at the time. If we had a mithril ring, we'd be able to seal away the Jin again. Kazoos is the only place where they craft such a ring. But with the curse, how can we hope to find a mithril ring now? I don't know, but the first thing we're going to do is head to the Western Tower. There are encounters in here, so beware. Ah, uh, yes. We were going to change the avatar each episode, weren't we? Well, here we have a holy arrow and a high potion. So there's two of 13 chests. Now, there's going to be a monster in here, a griffin. But there's a powerful sword in here for our red mage. It's a red mage only weapon. Now, with any luck, we won't perish. Should be okay. All right, very good. Gain some levels. And we get the White Slayer. If you have a red mage, this is a good sword for him. He's the only character that can use it. It is a sword infused with holy power, if you read the description down there, meaning it's good against the undead. Let us go ahead and uh, heal up after that. All right, and we'll do a quick save. Because uh, that fight, whether or not one of your four characters dies, is up to a lot of RNG there, so... We made it out okay. All right, let's head to the Eastern Tower now. The music here is also very good. In general... I like the soundtrack for Final Fantasy 3. I like the Famicom version. Phoenix down, a bow, and an arrow there. It's empty. Uh, you can also rest in this bed. This is the princess's bed, but she's not here, so we'll just all four pile in, I guess. Take a snooze. And that gets our uh, HP and MP back to full. Note that if a character got knocked out, that would not restore them. You'd have to uh, use a phoenix down or go back to ore and use the rev the revification pot. Or spring, rather. Okay, we have some more ghosty people here. The Jin's curse did this to me and all of us, so what shall I do? The Jin, uh, yes. I think they all say the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, you notice there's a passage with some chests over there. Let's see. If we can get our mitts on those. Uh, before we go all the way up, let's go through here. Notice the wall to the south looks a little funny. That means you can pass right through. And uh, like in Final Fantasy 1, when we're inside one of these passages, the other passages are revealed. So let's go around this way. And get these two chests. Uh, there's going to be the blizzard spell and a leather shield. We're going to save that blizzard spell for right now. Just hang on to it. Now, if you head up, you notice there's some fishy walls here. Go on through there. And there's a tonfa. This is a weapon for the monk. But again, he's better off with no weapons. All right, now it's time for those two chests that we saw on the way up here. There's going to be a thousand gil each. Uh, there's nothing that you have to get downstairs, but let's go down anyway. This is the wellspring room. This is not the kind of spring that heals you, 
but this is important for the story later on, and so this is where it is. All right, let us head back around the passage and go the intended route. Notice, like Final Fantasy 1, whenever you're inside any secret passage, the other passages are revealed. If you look down there, you see. So that can be helpful. Before we head up, let's check the map. Press X, press Y to switch maps, and we look at Castle Sassoon. We see 13 to 13 chests, zero of one items, but we don't worry about that right now. That will be automatic later. Here we are in the audience chamber. The king's guards, uh, presumably, say the White Slayer is in the western tower of Castle Sassoon. It's a holy sword, Bane of the Undead. However, only a red mage can wield it. Well, thank you. If you did not already know about the White Slayer, that's where you find out. And this guy says undead hordes roam the tunnels of the sealed cavern. But if you cast Cure on them, it may do some serious damage. Good to keep in mind. Here's the king, or the shade of the king. I am King Sassoon, but as you can see, the djinn's curse has reduced me to this ghostly form. Only by defeating the djinn can this foul curse be lifted. Where's the djinn? He dwells in the sealed cavern north of this castle, but without a mithril ring, you will be powerless to seal him away. We heard that Her Highness Princess Sarah has one. Oh, how could I have forgotten? The people of Kazoos once presented Sarah with a mithril ring, but I fear Sarah is nowhere to be found. Could she have been abducted by the djinn? Oh, my poor, poor Sarah. Have a little conference here. We can check out the sealed cavern. Oh, such stalwart warriors. When you reach the sealed cavern, you should know there is a secret door. The skeleton is the key. Mm -hmm. Please, you must defeat the djinn and free my people from this wicked curse. All right. Very good. Let me just check here to make sure everything is above board. Looks fine. Well, we're done here. Okay, before we leave, let's go to the Western Tower again and try to get in some battles. I'd like to get the monsters here taken care of. Inside the castle, you'll have zombies, dark eyes, red wisps, and of course the griffin. We already got the griffin because we got the white slayer chest. Now here's the dark eye. Let's just give him the wackadoodle. All right, so that's good. Now we just need the zombie and the red wisp. Um, the zombie is also... Um, I was thinking it was in the uh, sealed cave as well, but I, actually, I think I'm wrong about that. We do have to get that bestiary, and that is important for the uh, trophies. If you're playing on PlayStation or Achievements, if you're playing on Steam, like I am. This shouldn't be too big of a trouble, but uh, do keep an eye on your HP and MP. Ideally, we, we don't want to do a whole lot of uh, grinding in this game until near the end, because... Uh, well, first of all, you don't need to. Here's the zombie. The White Slayer should work pretty well on him. We'll also do a little curing. Why not? Well, I can't tell that the White Slayer did much, but... Anywho, so there's the zombie done. Yeah, so don't grind until near the end. Uh, I'll, I'll be telling you when to grind when we get to it, but... Um... If you want to maximize your HP growth in particular, you don't want to grind until you get a job called the uh, Black Belt, which is quite a ways off. Unfortunately, to get these 
bestiary entries we're going to have to effectively grind, even though we're not intentionally grinding. And again, uh, based on your feedback, I may be removing random battles from future episodes. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. It is a whole lot more work, but it may help with the flow a bit. All right, Red Wisp. This is our last victim. And we should be caught up with the bestiary, at least with... Um, Alter Cave and Castle Sassoon. Okay, let's get out of here. You could go to the princess's bed to heal up. Or you can just take the airship over to uh, Ur. And use the um, healing pots. I keep calling them healing pots. The well springs. Okay. So we're in good shape now. One thing that might not be a bad idea is uh, let's check the item shop. See if I need to pick up anything while I'm here. I have 14 potions. Uh, uh, that seems okay. All right. And again, the shops in Kazoos are not yet available to us. All right, now it's time to. Uh, well, you know, let's do some let's do some monster hunting here too. Why not? We need to make sure we get the killer bee, the werewolf, and the berserker. Here's the werewolf, and we've been ambushed. Shouldn't be too bad. These are, you know, starter enemies. So, I'll just go ahead and auto battle again. The auto battle is like the other two games. It's Kind of a dumb auto battle. Uh, it only does what you last input as the command for each character. Let's see, does the desert have anything special? And see what the battle background is. Werewolf. We'll get him. Again, we need the killer bee and the berserker. I can't remember. We may have fought a berserker. All right, we got a uh, achievement there. Defeat a hundred monsters. Goblin, we got these in the cave. Job levels. Uh, I don't think I went over what makes a job level go up. It's simply taking actions while you are... Here's the killer bee. While you are professing that job. So, And the number of actions per level varies based on job and the current level. So there's no rule of thumb there. Basically, the more desirable the job and or job level, the more difficult it is to obtain. The more actions you'll have to take. Now, the Berserker should be down this way. I mean, uh, he's just being a little bit bashful. There are several monsters that you can miss out on permanently in this game. There's a whole lot of missables. None of these are missable, but it's just best to go ahead and get it done. There's a Berserker. All right. Good. All right, so we're good. We're caught up on the bestiary now. In case you're wondering, in the Altar Cave, you should have gotten the Goblin, the Carbuncle, the Eye Fang, and the Blue Wisp. Here in the outside overworld, you should have gotten the Killer Bee, Werewolf, and Berserker. Inside Castle Sassoon was Zombie, Dark Eye, Red Wisp, and Griffin. Let's top up our HP and then we'll head to the sealed cave. Not there. Not there, you fool. This way. And we are good to go. Okay. Again, don't worry about min maxing this game. Yes, it is possible to end up with 9,999 HP. Uh, no, it is not necessary. 
The final boss and or final area of this game is pretty well known for being very difficult, but if you just follow along normally, you, you should be okay. Anywho, here we are in the sealed cave. I've always loved the cave exit tile for these. It looks like, you know, the outside you can see up into the sky. I just always loved that. And the cave music in this is really stunning. First thing we're going to do is head on down for a potion. Okay, Mummy and Skeleton. This is two of the six monsters that you can encounter in here. Very good. Let's get this potion. So that's the Mummy and the Skeleton. We also need the Cursed Copper, Larva, Shadow, and Revenant. The Revenant is somewhat rare. All right, in here we'll find a Cure Spell, which we could use. We don't really need it right now. Same old, same old. All right. White Slayer is coming in clutch. Got another um, achievement, Rookie Treasure Hunter, 10% of the chests. I just want to look at the other. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, let's go downstairs. Now, this chest has 500 gil. Man, I love this cave music. They nailed the mystery thing. Theme. Thrifty Spender obtained 10,000 gil. Remember the king said the skeleton is the key. So here it is. Activate it and head east. And here you'll find someone real important. Look there. Guess who? I am Sarah, Princess of Sassoon. Your Highness, what are you doing here? I'm here to save my subjects, but I fear I cannot find a clear path for the monsters. Thankfully, my mithril ring spared me from the Jinn's curse. Nevertheless, these caves are dangerous, Your Highness. You should return to the castle. I will not. I'll forge ahead alone if I have to. Well, she's going to join us as a guest. Your Highness, won't you reconsider? Please, take me with you. You cannot seal away the djinn without the mithril ring. And I suppose we must. Sarah, join the party. Whoopie doo Unlike the DS version, I think I mentioned this before, these guests will not take any actions. They're just sort of... You know, they're just guests. They're just hanging around with you. But they can talk to you. So she says, oh, that's right. If you wish to talk to me, press the L button. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. Now let's be off. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, it it's the L... I, okay. The dialogue says L button, but it's actually the trigger. I am Sarah, and you are... I am Luneth. Actually, that's not Luneth. That's uh, Refia. But anyway, a pleasure. The djinn can control fire. Perhaps attacking with ice will help douse his flames. I can only go so far before I reach my limit. It is most fortunate that you came along. I'm in your debt. And then it repeats. Okay. Alrighty. Let us go and get us another chest. And in this chest... Alright, here is the shadow. So that's three of six. We still need Cursed Copper, Larva, and Revenant. The Revenant, again, is, is rare. But we'll find him. Or it. You can see a preview there to the left. No, that's not Yang. Antarctic Wind. 
You know, it might not be a bad idea to use a potion on Angus. Yeah. Gives you about 50 HP. The shadow again. Now, I've written a walkthrough to this. Uh, of course, on Game Facts, there are already several walkthroughs, but I wrote my own because I wanted one that was extremely concise and was effective for Let's Players, specifically. So, um, I'll probably, once this is completed, I'll probably put it up on the Discord, or I may put it up as we go along. It is not complete yet. We are set many episodes ahead, but it's not finished. Anyway, I digress. This is air, uh, eye drops here. And just carry along. Here's the cursed copper. Now we only lack larva and revenant. So just give them the wackadoodle. You know the drill. And again, blind doesn't do much in this game. It can reduce the number of hits. That's about it. Okay, so we're going to quick save here. Quick save here. Um, I'm going to use a potion on Luneth. Again, you don't want to waste your potions. Yeah, it says right there, restores 50 HP. I'm going to sort. Alright, so we've been hoarding these Antarctic winds. Now is the time... To use them. It's the djinn! Stand back, I'll use my ring to banish the djinn! Alright, wrong voice. Nothing happened. Bwahaha! You thinks that silly trinket will stop me now? I joined forces with the darkness, and together we're unstoppables. See? The djinn attacked. It's awesome music. And here we are. Look at him. I've always liked this uh, sprite. I don't know. It's just something about him. Uh, it reminds me of something straight out of an 80s cartoon. You know, DuckTales or something. Anywho, um, use these with the characters with the highest uh, magical stats. So, it's going to be your red mage and your white mage. I think it matters. It may not. But... It makes me feel better. If you're playing the Famicom version, you likely had to use your Antarctic winds on the land turtle. Or at least one of them. Because it is harder there. Um, but if, if, if you have, then no fear. You can just teach one of your characters Blizzard, make him a black mage or a red mage, and use that. That helps also. So, uh, from here on, I think we can just whack a doodle. He does have some pretty stout magic, but those two Antarctic winds weakened him significantly. I could have used three, but it, as you see, it wasn't necessary. So, no big deal. Alrighty. Whoopee. Now, Sarah, while the djinn is weak, and use your ring. Sarah raises the ring up high. Epic Clash music. Whoop. Haha. -ha. The djinn dispersed like mist. The ring's power sealed him deep within the cavern once again. Thank you so much. I would never have been able to seal away the djinn without your help. All that remains is to cast the ring into the wellspring in Castle Sassoon, and the djinn's curse will be lifted. See, I told you that'd come in handy later. For now, I'll use the ring's power to warp us back to the castle. How convenient. But we still need the larva and the revenant. Oh, no. We'll come back. Don't worry about it. Here we are. I feel like I was just here. Princess Sarah threw the ring into the wellspring. 
bloop. There, now Jin's curse should be broken. We wouldn't be here without y'all, thank you. I suppose we must part ways. I have a duty to my father and people, after all. Would that I could travel with you, but I'd only be in your way. Sarah. Come back when you finish your journey. I'll be waiting for you for as long as it takes. We swear to return. Sarah left the party. So this is our second Princess Sarah in the Final Fantasy series. Princess Sarah did not become the long-standing trope that Sid did. Well, we're here. The whites... Yes, okay. You're telling me the same old thing. Okay. Thank you, brave warriors. You have sealed away the djinn and saved my precious Sarah. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Take this. I trust it will aid you on your quest. And we get that item that we've been waiting on. Received a canoe from the king. We got it. We got it. Got the canoey. Thank you, warriors of light. You may rest here as long as you wish. Sarah would appreciate spending more time with you. <laughs> Thank you, warriors of light. You're welcome. Very good. If you had not already gotten all of your best area entries, now would be the time to do it. Wouldn't it be great if we could just use the bed? Hey, hey, you can! Yeah, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Convenient. Alrighty. What you can do, uh, you see there's people here. I see there's a lady here. The princess has missed you. Her room is at the top of the tower to the right. Let's go see her. Yes, I know. We're heroes. That's, that's wonderful. We have brought light and peace back to this small little corner of the world. Hello, Chamberlain. Princess Sarah has been asking after you every chance she gets. She talks of nothing else. A little obsessed, huh? I have to stay here with Father. Would that I could travel with you in your way. Oh, yeah. Okay, same old thing. Time to go. Okay, now it's time. Before we do anything else, before we forget, it is time to go get those other bestiary entries. And the canoe serves the purpose of being able to go get the airship. And let's hope we can find the uh, larva and the revenant without too much trouble. There's the larva. Larva. Even. Or just do the old wackadoodle. It's nothing special, you just have to have it. Now, the Revenant could take some uh, time, so I'm going to... I may cut if it takes forever. All right. Here we go. Here's the Revenant. He's nothing special, just doesn't show up very often. Okay. Now, once we do him in, we are good. Okay, so now we can leave. I'll meet you outside. New to the Final Fantasy series is the back attack. We can actually get back attacked in this game for the first time. Otherwise, you know, it, it works just like you think. Your position in the party... Your row position gets reversed. And the enemies have initiative. Alright, see you outside. And we are out. So let me go ahead and save. Okay. First things first. Let's go to the healing spring. In Ur. And now, if we go to Kazoos, everybody should be back to normal. 
again, uh, back to the Revenant. Uh, if you're looking for that Revenant and having trouble finding him, I have found he's a bit more likely to be found on the bottom floor near where the gin is. All right, let's go in here and see what's up. Everybody's back to normal when you walk in. Here's Sid. Well done, I knew you could pull it off. Bet you're glad you had my airship, huh? I'm just happy it was used for a good cause. Mind if I ask another favor? I'm not doing the voice. Can you help me back with the missus and Kanan? Please, she's been uh, waiting a mighty long time. That's better. Sid joins the party and like Princess Sarah, he's a guest. Uh, in this version, he doesn't even show up on the screen. In the Famicom, he would show up uh, on the screen here. You know, you can use eye drops. Uh, it's not necessary. I think you could just rest at the end. But Anywho, thanks to you, I'm back uh, to normal again. I feel face of fatal. <laughs> Alrighty. That's great. Let's talk to everybody here before we go. What's going on in here? It's a revification font. Isn't that good? There wouldn't be a HPMP one because that would be hard on the end's business. Gazoos made its fortune off its mine. Artisans from town made weapons and armor out of the mithril here. Good to know. The only way through the Parmini Mountain that range is Nelv Valley. But it's been blocked by a huge rocks since the earthquake. Well, hot diggity. What can I do for you? Where's that come from? Okay, I'm going to buy a couple of those. Uh, there is a hidden passage in the mine that will take you to the deepest tunnels. To find it, go as far as you can. Take three steps from the left-hand side and look closely at the wall. Okay. Thank you. I'm myself again. All right. We already got the treasure. And now we can't talk to the lady for whatever reason. What's up? Oh, my healthy glow is back, and it's all thanks to you. Huh? What? Very good. Taka's the finest blacksmith around. He lives by himself in this very house. He means that house right there. This house. This house right here. We'll go in there in a minute. This here is interest in the mithril mine. <laughs> yeah, God. Go on in. Oh, it went back out. Now, let's go back in. There we go. All right. Now, this spooky place has monsters. Now, the button is obvious. In the Famicom version, it's not obvious. So, you have to um, take the kid's advice that's down in the, the inn there, the pub. It's, it's obvious for us here. We're going into the deepest tunnels. But uh, rest assured, it's not that deep. If you didn't pick up, uh, sealed cave monsters are here with one exception. Uh, the Revenant is not here. He's only in the sealed cave. But there is an achievement for visiting every area of the game. So, you must come in here. To see areas you've ventured to, bring up the map. Um, bring up the world map if you're not on the overworld. I'm not pressing Y here in your visited locations will appear on this list. There are two treasures here only, but they're halfway decent ones. It's a couple of mithril swords. All right, we've gotten poisoned for the first time, but this is no problem. Um, there's a couple of reasons why it's no problem. I might as well just learn that. I did not learn it, but we have this spell. We also have some antidotes, so it's no big deal. Get them swords. I believe... Yeah, he can't use it. Okay. Red Mage, even though, you know, it's generally my favorite class in Final Fantasy. Or favorite job. It is not great in this game, but I still use it because I like it. 
And again, you don't have to min-max. Okay, before we talk to Taka, let's go to the armor shop. And I think I want to buy a couple of bracers here. And that's it for now. We got the swords. Um, I'm thinking... Buy a couple of those. Do I want mithril knives? Yeah, I'm going to get a black mage pretty soon. And he's going to want to use those knives. And the rods, of course, we'll use for our... Uh, Lady friend here. We'll remove that. All right. Very good. You're welcome, sir. Okay. So that's good for that. Now the magic shop. I'm going to pick up fire and blizzard here. I'm going to buy... Three... I already have a blizzard. I'll buy two more. I have a sleep. I, again, I'm not super interested in that. Now, the reason for buying this magic will become evident before much longer. Okay. I'll do the old quick save. Let me make sure. And we have all the treasures. Let's uh, check everything so far. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're good. And we have all the bestiary, so... We are good to talk to Tokel. I've been thinking about that boulder that's blocking away to Canaan. I reckon if my airship had a mithril prowl, we could bust right through. Say no more. I'll get one ready for you in a jiffy. Clunka, clunka. All done. No need to thank me. You saved the town, after all. This is to show our appreciation. Now take care out there. Taka fixed a mithril prowl to the airship. Nah. <laughs> Let's give that bother some bowler a good old fashioned whooping. <laughs> My God. All right. Now we're good. Now we can leave. Now, save. Make sure you save. Let's get the airship. And you just kind of unceremoniously, uh, you know, fly it into the boulder. This is such a great idea. Oh, no. There goes our airship. Easy come, easy go. Well, crap. And you get an achievement for that. Let's talk to Sid. Sid's a name. Maybe you hear it of me. I'm an expert airshift craftsman. I have you know. Uh, Miss is waiting for me back in Canaan. I, I gotta get back. Phew, we might have overdone it. Y'all have nerves to steal. <laughs> okay. Bugbear. Okay, now we're in the Canaan and Environs section. Um, there are six monsters to fight, of which we have three already, Killer Bee, Werewolf, and Berserker. We need to get the Basilisk, the Bugbear, and the Mandrake. The Mandrake can be somewhat rare. And Bugbear, we've got it, no problem. No problem. There's Kanan. Um, there's Kanan. So let's... We're going to go around here and do some monster hunting first. We already got the Berserker. Here's the Basilisk. Just make sure you get it. It can turn you to stone. As, uh, you know, you would expect. Can't fit through there. That's always bugged me. You can't fit through there. So I'll just cut until we 
So I'll just cut to where we find the monsters in question. Again, we're looking for the Mandrake now, and that one's the tough one to get. So. Watch out for these back attacks. Again, the enemy will have initiative, so he goes first. And your row is um, inverted. To, um, you know, everybody's going to be in the back row if they were in the forward, in the front row, and vice versa. I just attack now. Chance of stoning is very low, but it does exist. Alrighty, here's the Mandrake. Nothing special, just doesn't show up very often. And with that, we're caught up on monsters again. So, got 10% of the bestiary entries. That uh, is a key. If you get that achievement, that will tell you that you are indeed where you need to be. Okay, let us save and head into town. Now, Sid's going to go ahead and leave the party. Thanks for all you help. It's the first thing I can do for you, let me know. Come to think of it, if I can put together another airship, I'll bet you could put it through spaces. But we'll need to make a few design improvements. <laughs> and no one knows more about that stuff than King Argus. Eh? Yeah, you should go see him. Anyway, thanks again. Come back to visit anytime. Sid left the party. Very good. Yeah, we'll see ya. Sid is a very important character, if you hadn't guessed. I hear that long ago a traveling mage had some medicinal herbs in town. As far as the wares and the wherefores, who knows? Well, I happen to know. I've never been myself. They say there's a gnome village in the forest down south. Keep that in mind for later. All right. What's up? Oh, Dash, I'm so lonely here without you, Sub. You traveled south to Dragon's Peak, where the Dragon's Roost, I missed you so. Walk through this uh, secret passage. Open this up. I'll get you a gold needle. May come in handy later. Selena's mother first, that scoundrel Dash, turns my Selena's head. Then he ups and leaves town, said he had to flee in a hurry. He had to find something. My Selena was always such a sweet girl. Now the poor thing cries herself to sleep at night. How sad. Here's a mallet. What does the mallet do? Well, I'll show you. It has to do with the mini spell. Shrinks and unshrinks. Good to know. So it's an item that casts mini, essentially. So that's good. We got everything we need here. Let us now... Let's see. Let's go this way. And let's think about those herbs that the person mentioned that the mage left here. Arrow is a white magic spell that lets you manipulate the wind to damage your enemy. Blind monsters hate it. Keep our eye out for that. Go up here to this waterway. Just climb on in. You'll take a little damage there, but that's okay. Just follow it down to this grassy area here for an elixir. This is what the mage hid. Don't use it. I know elixirs are generally in the don't uh, don't use, you know, too good to use club. Um, absolutely do not use this one. Because it's a long time till you can get another one. And you need it for a story related thing. Uh, if you use the mini spell, you can turn into a gnome sized version of yourself. I sold my last one to a young man named Dash. Hmm. Traveler named Dash wandered into town recently, but he didn't stick around. I'm not sure where he was headed. Well, he was going to Dragon's Roost. Uh, this is Sid's house. Let's go in and talk to Sid. I was glad you stopped by. You see my wife play a while I was away. Come on, honey, you pull through. Uh, through. If only I had an elixir. <laughs> cough, cough. Mrs. Sid. Mrs. Sid. That's adorable, isn't it? Where is this elixir? Give her the elixir. Heaven's above. I'm cured. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It works miracles. 
You went out of your way to help my husband and me. I can't thank you enough here. Looks like I owe you one again. Does that mean I owe you two? <laughs> I know. Hey, give me sure can of a jiggle. It'll open away the old hangar where you used to park my wire ship at. You see? Help yourself with anything you find down there. All right, give it a jiggle. And go through the secret passage to the secret airship hangar. Uh, let's see. So... Top left chest. I wrote these down so I would look real smart, but anyway. There's an iron arrow, the blind spell, phoenix down, and a gold needle. If we go over here to the same thing, we're going to get a potion, a great bow, and two gnomish breads. Let me show you the gnomish bread. Displays a detailed map useful go on down in the waterway go across and cut over uh, let's see we got uh, gold needle phoenix down or no potion rather high potion and then phoenix down now that should have all the items in Canaan I think yeah we're good 12 of 12 and then three secret items good 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 Let's get out of here, this uh, secret passage. Well, that was pretty good of Sid. I mean, an elixir's pretty valuable, but... I used to put a value on the wife of... Uh, the life of the wife of Sid. Anyhow. Um, armor shop. I'll buy a couple more of those. The reasoning will become more apparent in a little bit. All right, uh, let me think about this. I guess we should visit the item shop first. What is our, yeah, we should probably rest as well. 40 gil, not bad. Money is not a big deal in this game. Party is well rested. Now, again, Item shops are always in the building with inns, even though there's no sign outside. Keep that in mind. What can I do for you? Okay. Echo herbs. Uh, let's buy six. That gives us a total of seven. Gold needles. Okay. The next area has monsters that can petrify. So this may become a great nuisance. Because we are going to have to do a little bit of uh, grinding to find a rare monster. You know, kind of the same old thing. Um, yeah. So we don't want to get in a situation where we need uh, a lot of MP. Or, uh, you know, have to get stoned a lot of times. Anyhow, uh, one thing I want to show you is, uh, if you notice, the more of a thing you buy you do get a discount. Uh, I, I don't think this was the case in the first or second game. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So, one gold needle is 100. Two is 200. Three is 300. But four is 380. And the more you buy, the bigger the discount, you see. So that's kind of handy. Something to keep in mind. Um, but I think we're okay there. I'm feeling a little... You know what? Let's just have ten of each at least. You know, like I said, uh, money is not really a thing that we need to worry much about. We can sell the knives, sell the dagger, sell the tonfa, um, sell the staves, the bow. We have a great bow, do we not? We do. I'm probably not going to really get into using a bow. We don't need the shield. We'll hang on to the rest of the stuff because some of the jobs, when we get to do a lot of job changing, some of the jobs have strange weapon and armor limitations. So, 
need to keep that in mind. That's another dancer. You can talk to her if you want. Okay. Um, these are expensive, but I'm getting them. I got a poison. And a blind. Yeah. No, I already have a blind, so that's good. Okay. Right. Weapons. We're good here. If you wanted to go the arrow route, you could, but that's we're not going to do that right now. We probably will eventually when we have a different selection of jobs. Um. I think that's good. I think that's good. So now... Um, next time, we'll be going up Dragon's Roost, which is the mountain you see here uh, to the southeast. Thank you very much for joining me here in the Roost today. Really appreciate your time and attention. It means a lot to me that you'd hang out with me for a little bit in your day. Uh, like the video and, and share this with your friends if you like. Um, leave a comment below letting me know what you uh, thought about it. What are your stories of playing Final Fantasy 3, if you have any? Or is this your first time seeing the game? Uh, I'd love to chat with you, so do leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click the bell so you'll see when new videos come up. Final Fantasy Day is Saturday. Uh, so videos for this game and any other Final Fantasy we're doing, uh, of which right now is only this one, will come up on Saturdays. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.